This is the second heaviest musical instrument in the world. Um, it's called the Laura Spellman Rockefeller Memorial Carillon. I started uh, studying carillon in 1984, 1985, somewhere in there at uh, the University of Rochester in upstate New York. The instrument was in the middle of the campus. It was at the top of the library building. And I noticed that whenever the instrument was being played, everyone on the quadrangle who was thinking about their own thing at the time, engineering or some piece of literature or something, all at once they became an audience. Uh, Monday through Friday we play 30 minute recitals beginning at noon and 6, so if people want tours they can meet in the front of the chapel uh, at 11.30 or 5.30. We also play a uh, recital after services on Sunday. Services usually end around 12, maybe a little after. Well one common question is, is, is since it's such a public instrument, how do we practice? Uh, we have an electronic uh, practice instrument down in the basement. It has the same style keyboard, only it's connected through a series of fiber optics to a sound sampler that we use. Uh, so we can practice complex handlings and things like that before giving it a go on 100 tons of bronze. I'm Oliver, I'm a third year. When I applied to the college, I knew that if I came here, I would just have to do it. I saw it on the tour when I visited. And you start emailing the right people and you ask, enough times and they let you do it. But for the people who are just starting out, um, it's hard to fill a half hour of music. So we have this time where they could come and play uh, and get some experience. The practice instrument is like a flight simulator and this is like the actual F-16. It's that big a difference. With a public instrument, you could create an audience. But at the same time it was public, it was also an anonymous instrument, that is, the performer uh, was not the star of the show. It was the music that was the star of the show. 